We gotta talk. Welcome back. Hi, Thumos Brothers. Listen to me. What do you think it does to our psychology, to our testosterone? What do you think it does to our minds when we live? You know, how do I phrase this? How do we, what happens to us when we live outside of the realms of our perceived status? <clears throat> What happens when the men of the world do this? Like you're a peasant, you're a peon, but you live like a king. You have access to all the things, the pleasantries that a king would. What happens to you? There's a verse in the Bible that says, if, what does it profit a man if he gains the world but loses his soul? Right now we have the world, dude. We got the freaking world in our, in our palms. We got access to the freaking world. We can gain that thing quick. You know, you can call up Uber Eats right now, have them get you whatever kind of food you want. Rich, savory food. You think a king had access to that? And I don't care if you think, you know, kings of the past, they weren't what it seems. No, what I'm saying is it's a metaphor. And I think the, the great struggle of modern man is that to our misfortune, we have access to all the king's pleasantries but none of the king's responsibilities. And it's doing something to how we feel. I think a lot of guys are struggling, feeling whole in their masculinity. And it's because there's this divide. There's this divide of life that you have access to, all the rewards of a strenuous life, but you've never lived it. Or you're in the process of living it, but you keep consuming and have access to these rewards. You got the Uber Eats, dude. You can get the feast delivered to you. You have the finest freaking booties that the world has ever seen. You have access to countless amounts of sexual acts, instant gratification. The, the, the richest sultans, the kings of the land never had access to this much puss. We have it though, right there. All that's keeping you away is a few short clicks, man. It's right there for you. You got access to swipe from a catalog. Swipe, oh, she's hot, oh, she's ugly, oh, she's hot. Swipe, swipe, swipe. What does this do to you? No human, no human other than our generation has had access to this much wealth. But none of us have, have we really gained the ability to live like this? We're living the life of a king. But we haven't even taken on any of the responsibility of a king. We're peasants, dude. We're Boy kings were spoiled brats. It's making us spoiled. You have access to the games, the Coliseum, UFC, fights, football. You can gamble on them now. Freaking everywhere there's a freaking ad. You know, gamble, gamble, gamble. Sign up today and you can drop $200 and we'll fucking, you know, shut up. Kevin Hart, big news. Shut up. Oh, man, dude. These gambling ads are everywhere. Crazy. They're everywhere, uh, the, the freaking entertainment out the booty, man. Like, dude, you can, you have access to the court drama. All the dramas of the court. Politics, gossip, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Whatever suits your fancy. You go on Twitter, have a ball. You go on YouTube, hear all the politics. Chit-chattering of the court, court drama. Right? But you're just, you're just, you're not even, you should not be able to access this. It's, it's too much for your little peasant brain. You can't handle this. It's not right. It's doing something to you. You're not supposed to know about all these, the, the freaking court drama, man. A lot of it you need to ignore. If you so choose, you can lock yourself up in your chambers and have yourself a nice wink. You do not have to come out. You don't have to have any counsel. You know, of course, a king has counsel, but you don't have to do that. You can just lock yourself up in your ivory tower and have yourself a little fap and call it a day and order Uber Eats. Get it ton to you, man. Get it delivered. Boom. There you go. You're feeling, you're feeling nice, flat, plump, and satiated for a, a few hours. You rest your head on the pillow. You wake up. Bada bing, bada boom. We have all the luxuries of living like a freaking king. But have we earned this? 
What is living outside of the realm of our perceived status do to us? I'm not so sure it's the best. I actually think that there's some merit to living, to knowing your freaking place in the world and seriously slowing down and doing the work that's in front of you and not allowing yourself to live this extravagant life before you have yet made your way in deep into the journey and, and you've, you've obtained access to these things, a beautiful wife, a loving relationship, learning to cook for yourself, learning to have entertainment that comes from not just stuff that, you know, just gets pumped into your freaking brain, but taking a second to freaking read a damn book, you know, like, like to slow down, to, to care for your space. This is what I'm saying is like, no wonder we're confused because part of being a man is taking care of that, which is yours in front of you, like maintaining your space, your environment, your life, caring about you, making yourself strong and focused and having purpose. And you know, what, what I think this leads to is that a lot of us have settled down into being kings and living the life of these kings. We've gained the world, but we've lost our soul in the process. And what has happened is we never got to go through that warrior's journey, that hero's journey to become and reach kinghood. We've never had a battle to face, but I'm telling you that we're in a battle. We are in a battle right now, and you gotta, you gotta like sharpen the sword, man. You gotta, and if you don't feel like you're in a battle, realize like you have to pick a battle for your life. What is the battle? What is the battle? Because in times of peace, what happens to men? We bicker. We're prone to, to idle hands. The devil comes in, intrudes our thoughts. We overthink. We need a war. We need purpose. We need something to aim at and go towards. But a lot of us. We have no battle. And so part of it is picking your freaking battle. What's it going to be? What is your purpose you're going to give yourself this year? You know, I told the guys in the High Thimbles group, I said, imagine if we could carry the spark of the new year to every freaking month. We'd have 12 new years in one year. <laughs> Amazing. You know, we'd have 12 freaking, that, that same energy. We could bring that. And I want to do that today. Like, let's get pumped. The first month, January is done. It's in the past. Don't look back. We're going forward. February 1st, we're going in, baby. High Thumos. Me and the guys in the group, this week we're doing the cold approach challenge. We're also doing the no headphones challenge, simple challenges. We all push ourselves to do, share our results. If you're not in the group, share them here, man. I, I urge you to try them. Do it. Get out of your comfort zone. Live that hero's journey. Be the warrior. Pick your freaking battle. But don't just get content thinking this soul, man, life is this and that bland. But then here you are just giving yourself all of the access to the entertainment and the luxuries of kinghood. We haven't deserved it, man. It's losing, it's losing, it's making us lose our edge and that, that masculine, you know, essence and our, our thumos, that spiritedness. I think there's definitely some consequences for a life that is filled with this thing. So I've been catching myself, you know, you know, freaking, uh, I'm on Instagram search, you know, there's this freaking fine girls, you know, I'm like, man, Stop living like a king. You don't. You didn't earn this. You know, it's just a simple mindset. You didn't earn this, dude. What are you doing? What are you doing? You didn't earn this. So, that's a big part of it, man. And I think we got to bring it back. So, the last thing I'll say is just slow down. Take a chill pill. It's okay to focus on your life. You become strong. You take care of yourself. You get your priorities right. You don't need to care about everything. You don't need to constantly live in the circus. You don't need to constantly be in the festival that the kingdom is enjoying. It's time to become a warrior, man. It's really, it's time to become a warrior and go into that battle. And sharpen your swords and get ready. Because life can be enjoyed. But you gotta, you know, you gotta get your focus right. Get your priorities right. What are you going to care about? Because there's right now, there's way too much to care about. There's way too much to entertain you. There's way too much that steals your focus. And if you can't focus in, it's going to be very difficult going forward. All right? It's just a couple things I've been thinking about. Don't let yourself live like a king if you haven't even started on your journey yet. All right? Take care, guys. I wish you the best. Hi, Thumos. Peace.